And you can see the wisteria, huh? the wisteria that we have on the bridge had been planted by Monet himself. So it's one of the few plants uh, that are dating from that time. Here, you can see the water lilies. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Over, yes. You will see it better here. Just to give you an idea, the street that we have in between the two gardens today. Today it's a modern street, but in those days it was a street in earth. one condition he wanted to have a good exhibition place and the only place that he accepted was the Orangerie Museum in Paris just next to the Concord Square but before beginning the paintings he had to create another studio you will see that Monet had three different workshops here in Giverny the first one was inside the property inside the house then he had another studio because he wanted to have more light and since he had money enough to pay he created a new studio and for the, that series he had to create a third studio that third studio you will see it because today it's the gift shop so if you visit uh, the Marmottan Museum in Paris, uh, you will see some paintings where... I told you that uh, all the garden that we have here is summer exhibition, but it's a real summer exhibition. In fact, you can see that the garden is Matt, do you want a picture where it's not crowded? I could say. No, this this one. I only have this one. And remember also that he had eight children at home. And so they had to work inside the property. And so the children had to take uh, the fruits. They had to gather the fruits. But if they wanted to do uh, a the job they were doing, they could sell the fruits in the village. Also had to pick up the snails in the flowers because Monet tested the flowers. And so that's why it's a completely different garden now.
So you are going to discover now the most beautiful view of that garden. Photograph. This is a long photo. This is a long photo. Renee's what a what a pads, lily pads, in the gift shop. It's like forty or fifty feet long. I thought it might be interesting to put that to photograph for you. It's a, sort of a park-like setting. Uh, the flowers are beautiful. I'm sort of experimenting using the camera going in and out, which they recommend doing to capture uh, unusual aspects of the film. Das ist ein Rauschen der Farben. This is late September, and the flowers in the Monet Garden are absolutely beautiful. This is the new studio that he bought, built. It's actually a cottage for himself, I believe. This is the famous lily pad pond. And it's a, this is a restored pond, which is a replica of the pond that Claude Monet used to paint all the famous lily pad paintings. They're grouped the way they are. They're actually in pots. The water is only about two feet deep, but still absolutely beautiful. Thank you. There I'm This is the pathway to Claude Monet's home. It's absolutely good. This is the bus ride back to our boat, our river boat from Claude Monet's home. 